and you try to hopefully, you know, hey, tell a friend about me at school. All these short clipper cuts will come back. These are two week. These are two week cuts. These are these are I'll see you next week type of stuff. This is bread and butter. This is what. This is a lot of my bread and butter pays my electric bill. You know, this is see you next week is a great thing to say. If you can have somebody coming back that fast, and you really make it worth their their fifteen dollars or twenty, whatever you charge. Oh yeah. Now. big thing that saves me a lot. I have a little, couple little like weight shadows or whatever. Flat is for really like precise, right? There's really, a one is a one. When I say claw it out, you kind of lift it up and you just claw it, comb through it, comb it out like that. And it's really not a guard or it's really not a specific number. You just gotta eyeball it. It's really like clawing it out, shadowing it out. Takes you out a bunch of lines. You can stay scrubbing at a place. Why isn't this coming out or why isn't this working? It's just called clipper control. You just, how it's flat. So everything, yeah, one, everything, and this whole thing. We know his the biggest number was a two, and everything in between is just this one. This is a breeze. This is a fun time. This is a breeze haircut. Something you could really you? practice. No, this is something you could really practice because it's not no secret tricks. This is a two down to nothing, and uh, this is, like I said, there's not a lot of tricks in it. He's looking good already. But now we make it look better though. So this is when I really tauten it up and really start scrubbing them, really getting really tight, really getting really picky with them. A uh, regular place, if you just want to be a regular run in the mill, he would be done. You'd line them up, good job, see you later. But I think if you really want to give them the second, third time around, really get picky with it, tease it, claw it, all these little terms that I just told you guys about. I'm in, I'm in line in the grocery store, I'm at some store, you know, we all do hair, you're always checking out everyone's stuff, oh cool, nice, nice, nice. You notice the little, oh, that, you can spend some time on that kid right there, that's a good looking cut. Yeah, I'll show you what that is. Well, just stuff that I'm staring at, oh, he's fine, I'd line him up, he's done, oh, you see this little, tss. and everything's in there, everything's from ball to that half, that's a real crucial area, all these little, tss, little adjustments that you make, little touches, like, it may not seem like a lot, but these little teases that I do, it just makes it a really flat blend. And I think that's what my barber eye looks for, little teases like that. Especially dealing with his contrast, he's got darker hair to white skin like that. It shows it all. You can really show off or really look bad doing this, this cut. Is that why it shows everything? Yeah, it's just thought. the dark hair on the light skin. Same with me. I had my fade for so many years, and you could really show off, or you could really look bad. You know, it's, it's, and it's good. It's good for me to get better. Like, oh, I could have did that better. And these are my Clippers clothes, and these guys are adjusted, and they're really, really tight, but really bald. I mean, yeah. <coughs> well, let's get to this.